Welcome to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, you like video games. Brother, you know, that's my jam. Let's go. What, we got video game news? A, a little bit. I mean, kind of. Have you ever been in a video game tournament? I have. Absolutely. Tekken, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, ooh, what was that game? What was that game? Uh, Destiny. Uh, you were in a Destiny tournament? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say the other ones I could totally see. But the, uh, how did you do in the tournaments? I failed at every single one of them, Jonas. Nothing, nothing remarkable ever happened in my life. So let's just... <laughs> Let's just move past this point, okay? And let's talk about the story. Thank you for bringing up bad memories about my failures. I like that. So there was a a tournament for Mortal Kombat 1. Oh, I would definitely fuck that up for everybody. (laughs) So (laughs) I guess uh, the guy who won it, his name was uh, Jailbelly. I, I like how you asked it as like you mentioned his name as a question. <laughs> his name was Di- Mayo Belly. Dylock. Wait, Dylock. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm waiting. His name is Dylock. Dylon. Dylock. Dylock. And Dylock. The guy who founded its last name was Jabali. It don't even matter. So, anyways. Either way. So, so this guy he won, mm-hmm. and he and he won a whopping five hundred and sixty-five dollar. <laughs> prize why did i think you were to say thousand and it was not that so but what ended up happening was during his celebration he had and i quote a pop-off moment well, he popped off where he threw a chair Hell yeah, he popped a- off. and it smashed into a three thousand dollar lighting fixture Yikes. that the company set up so the man ended up Minus twenty five hundred dollars for winning the tournament Ooh, because he, sometimes you gotta pop out and show. You know what I'm saying, Jonas? Sometimes you gotta pop out. So like, so he showed up, played all day, won a tournament, and then had to pay some money. As you know, what honestly, I don't know what's sadder is that the fact that uh, like the FT the F the FC fighting game community, the FGC isn't paying him enough money. That well, like Mortal Kombat's not a big game right now. Like honestly, I say the big, the biggest fighting game that's out right now is probably Street Fighter Six. Okay, but fighting games have this whole like deal where they like have seasons and they do the battle pass thing and they they like have content, so they'll release characters as the game is in perpetuity. Um, Mortal Kombat just it's really not it right now. They have a lot of good collaborations. Like they have one with the boys and one with Invincible where they bring like characters from uh different properties in. But it's just it's really not a big So it's IP. just an advertising machine. Uh, sort of kind. It's not a super big IP. They did uh with the last Mortal Kombat, the one before they came out with the most recent one, they did one with uh they had Chucky was in the game, Freddy was in the game, Jason was in the game. So they did like the whole horror movie thing. Now they're doing like the whole like uh anti hero thing because they have like Homelander and they have Omni Man. You don't know any of those characters. Please do not ask me about who they are because that is a whole nother like story. The people at home who do know, they know. Um I Y K Y K. There you go, baby. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's 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 I don't know. It's like I always I'm a big fan of the Street Fighter series. I've been watching I have not played a single moment of Street Fighter five or six, but I've been watching a lot of Street Fighter five and six. Brother, you te- you asked me what bison combo does eight K, I know. Okay? That's crazy that I know that and I've never put my hand on the controller to play that game, but I do. And I respect the FGC. I grew up on fighting games. Jones, you ever play? What fighting games did you play when you were a kid? When you were a boy? Oh, a little Jonas when I Jr. had friends. <laughs> <laughs> Back when I had friends, yeah, you know. I used to play some Mortal Kombat and some Tekken and some Street Fighter. Were you good at any Soul of them? Soul Calibur. Were you good at any of them, though? I mean, at the time. but like, Were the you games better are- than your friends at any of them? I used to kick some booty. 
I used to like pride myself on being better than all of my friends at MVC2 until I found somebody that actually knew how to play MVC2. And then whooped you. Yeah. I, yeah. I went in there crazy. Like, yo, I would dive kick into the raging demon with Akuma, and it was, it was flawless. 101 Damn Nations that we know? We never forget that name here. That man was a Tekken master. Hey, yo, 101 Damn Nations acolyte. He is an acolyte in the community of Crazy Town. All yep. I remember is him playing a lot of Tony Hawk. I remember oh, him playing 14. a lot of Tony Hawk. Remember him playing it? I don't yeah. remember that. I remember him playing a lot of Tekken. Tekken? Tekken Tag, I remember. I used to work at a I used to work at a video game arcade, Joan. This is how deep my love for video games was. Yeah. Like I was assistant manager at a actual video game arcade with like the the big cabinets. And uh I used to play Tekken Tag there all the time in VC two. Yeah, those were good times, man. Those were good times. What was your favorite game in the arcade when you worked there that you got to play for free? I would definitely say MVC2 was my my jam. Like, I could lose hours putting, like, act, putting actual tokens, I should say. I was going to say quarters, but putting, like, actual tokens into those machines. MVC2, who was my team in MVC2? You're going to say, you pick Wolverine. Oh, S oh, I'm sorry, MVT2. I said MVT2. I mean, MVC3. Marvel versus Capcom three. I would say I was a I was a uh, Cyclops, uh, Akuma, and then maybe like I don't know, maybe Strider, maybe Silver Samurai. I Say some for the rest of us. <laughs> I am nerding out right now, Joe. You brought the nerd. You started talking video games. I'm gonna nerd out. I literally talked who, about a man. Who's your Who's your Mortal Kombat character? Who'd you use? Give me that one. What? I don't care. Bro, you said you used to play Mortal Kombat. Yeah, who'd you only main? Characters. Who'd you main? Uh, who did I use? Exactly. Who did I like? Sub Zero. I mean, he was good. Oh my god. <laughs> Sonya Blade? You're such a casual. You did not use Sonya Blade. If she was a charge character, there's no way you used her. I don't even know if that's true. <laughs> I just made it up. It sounded good. Wake up DP in the EXOD uh, the, the overhead. Lord. That's what? I watch a lot of <laughs> I watch a lot I watch a lot of uh a lot of uh fighting games. I'm sorry, Jonas. So the guy said that he shouldn't throw <laughs> Wait a minute, are we talking about the same person still? I mean, we, yeah, yeah. It's a slow news week. All right, finish the story, Jonas. The guy, he broke the $25,000 equipment. <laughs> he broke the... <laughs> what the hell is happening right now? It's a beautiful episode. I'm loving yeah, I, it. Yeah, it sounds I'm loving like every minute of it. a good one. Everybody's ready. Who is your favorite character? No, Joe, finish the it's story Superman first. The guy what? No, Joe, we got to finish the story. The guy so the guy. He learned his lesson. <laughs> I fucking hope so. You <laughs> me on the, you threw a fucking chair because you pop it off? Who does that? Jesus, <laughs> man. He, I love esports, Jonas. How do you feel about esports, Jonas? You have never watched a single moment. I, I watched some uh, Overwatch League once. <laughs> just, I'm just giving him the most I serious uh, stone face you know, stare I'm not right even now. Joking, like back in, it was really funny. Uh, back in the day, before esports even really became big, I remember like talking to a guy I worked with about opening up a gaming cafe that to run like call of mm. duty leagues mm -hmm. and like having leagues but mm -hmm. like for video games like back in the day mm -hmm. and he was like no one's ever going to want to play competitive video games and i was like mm. you're you're dumb and he was like, he you're was dumb. dumb he was dumb and then i didn't do it and now other people are rich so now like uh i just want to bring to to light like the uh I guess the credibility to some of these tournaments that happen, uh, the FGC fighting game community, um, last year for a uh, street fighter five, I think it was, or it might've been the first street fighter six tournament, honestly, either way, a million dollar prize pool. Oh damn. Was there. Yeah. And that Why was does this guy get 500 bucks. That's what I'm saying is like, you can, you can see the difference between like the Tekken prize pool and the street fighter prize pool. Now, mind you, there's a bunch of tournaments that happen throughout the year 
besides like the main one. The main one that's hosted by Capcom for Street Fighter, that was the million dollar prize pool. Like there's a bunch of other like mini tournaments that go that go on for uh for Street Fighter. There's the TNS. Uh Tampa never sleeps. Tampa ne Tampa never sleeps. Great channel to see a bunch of different fighting games. Absolutely amazing commentators, absolutely amazing content. The tops in the game, Punk, Knuckle Doo, uh Brian F. <laughs> Um, I'm just naming I Dom. You see some of the greats, man. Okay. Like I'm, I like you. Uh, this is something you don't know about me. I really do love fighting games. I, I used to play it. Street Fighter as a kid, and like I said, I got my ass handed to me. I fell out of favor, but I love watching some of the greats do what they do. I'm nerding out this video games. Yeah, that's good. Who's your favorite new kid? Uh. Ooh, ooh, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, uh, who was the guy who went solo around the same time that, uh, god damn it, I don't know, I don't know, Donnie. Donnie. <laughs> Wahlburgers. I don't know, Donnie. Uh, that's all the time we have for this episode, go to thecrazytown.com, subscribe for Jonas. I'm a dork. TNT. <laughs> we out.